To get started creating our first React component, we're going to need to import React from our React package. We're going to go and set up our first class component. So class, the name of our class or component, we're going to say extends react.component. Now here in the extension of react.component, we can do all sorts of different things, but in a class component, we are always going to have a render method. The render method is expected to return uh, other elements or components. So in our case, we're going to use something called JSX, which is an HTML-like syntax. And here inside this H1, I'm just going to say, hello world. And then down here, I'm just going to go ahead and export by default our app component. And now we've got our app component, which is rendering an H1 with an inner HTML of hello world. Now, like I said, JSX is HTML-like, uh, but there are some differences and we will be covering those. Um, but all JSX gets transpiled into JavaScript. So just to show you what that looks like, the H1 ends up getting passed to this function called react.createElement. The first argument there is the element we want to create. So in our case, it's in H1. The second argument is for props, which we'll talk about later. And the last argument can either be another element or it can be just a string that's meant to be the inner HTML of our element. So here I'm just going to say, hello, guys, save that. And we can see on the right, we've got hello, guys. Now in this series, we are going to be using JSX. So I'm just going to put that guy back. Okay, so now that that's back, I'm going to go ahead and comment this out and we'll take a look at another way we can create a component. And this is called a stateless function component. So I'm creating a constant variable here called app. That's going to be equal to a function that simply returns our JSX. Save that. And now we've got our hello eggheads there on the right. Now the difference between these two guys is that a class component can have what's called state. And again, we'll be talking more about that later. Um, whereas a stateless function component will not have state.